Hey guys, it's Pope and welcome back to my channel. I am really looking forward to creating this video because this section of my fitness journey is really one of the things I'm most proud of. If you were following along with my pregnancy, I was planning to do a home birth, which was never like a goal or aspiration of mine to have a home birth, but I was pregnant during the very beginning of the pandemic when everything was like super scary and no one knew what was going on or what was gonna happen. And that was the best option for me while things were so up in the air, not knowing anything about COVID-19 and like how it affects pregnancy. And there was like rumors of babies being split from the mothers at births. And that was kind of a fear-based decision and that was gonna give me the most control over the situation. Well, fast forward to me at 39 weeks, my amniotic fluid got to a dangerously low level and it was giving me like heart palpitations and if the fluid gets too low, then the baby like can't flourish in the womb. So I basically got an eviction notice for the baby from the doctor and I got given a couple days to see if I would go into labor naturally, which I didn't. So it had to be induced. Long story short, 40 hours of labor after that, 30 of which were unmedicated because I really wanted a natural birth. Baby still didn't want to come out, like not even close to coming out. So I had to have an emergency C-section and I really did not want to have a C-section. That was my like least desirable outcome, but it is what it is. That's what I needed to get the baby out safely and she needed to come out. So I had the surgery and uh, my baby Scarlet Rose was born on June 7th and I have just enjoyed every little bit of it since then. In the beginning was very, very difficult, obviously it is for everyone, I think, but once we got in a groove, I have just loved being a mom. I'm really enjoying this and I'm very grateful for this experience as a whole. As for like the fitness side of things, which is what I wanna focus on this video, it was a struggle, I am not gonna lie. Like having a C-section is no joke. It is a major surgery. You use your stomach in literally every single thing that you do. And I couldn't even go up and down the stairs. I was like trapped in my room with the baby basically. Being used to like having so much control over my life and being such an active person, it was pretty like demoralizing to be like immobile completely and just, I was so exhausted after that labor experience. Like it, it crushed me. So the healing was difficult. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It was really hard that first month. But then once I got to like four weeks, I started to find my groove a little bit and was able to at least go up and down the stairs. And we started with walking. I just walked around my street back and forth, back and forth for like 30 minute intervals each day and tried to uh, pick up the speed and an intensity as the days went by a little bit, as much as I could handle with my scar being so sore. Then I got released from the doctor to do some super light stuff. So I just started doing rehab work. At the time I was following some instruction by Mama Stay Fit. At about six weeks, I could start being a little bit more active, um, progressing in my core movement. I really just focused on rehab, rehab, rehab on my core strength. Basically, I wanted to focus on building my strength back first and then move back into weightlifting. And I did that slowly over the first three to four months. That's around when I started to bring back in real like Olympic lifting training. During this time of my own healing, I realized there is not a plan out there available for women that like to lift as their preferred exercise. So, as I created my own plan, kind of morphing this stuff from Mama Stay Fit's rehab and combining my weightlifting experience, I made my own like comeback regimen that I followed. And Mama Stay Fit and I decided to team up and make a program available to the public. The plan is four months of training from rehab, starting ground zero, all the way back to doing Olympic lifts. So this is great for weightlifters and for CrossFitters trying to get back into CrossFit class. I see this all the time of women giving birth and then they go to their six week checkup and they get released and then they go right back into CrossFit class and then most likely they get hurt and I've, I've seen like examples of this with too much too fast is really not good on a postpartum body. You want to take it super super slow and in a methodical way. So definitely check out our ebook on my website if you are looking for a plan to heal postpartum. 
and get back to lifting heavy. There's not a good like progression out there before we created this to where you could go from like starting back over back to lifting heavy and we provided all the steps to get there. So it's an important product that the market definitely needed and I feel like really proud of what we created because I know it's gonna help a whole bunch of people. So that was really my number one priority was getting my core strength from total ground zero, having no strength at all, built back to a little bit. And I was able to do that to the point that I could do some like basic exercise. Then I started to focus on my weight loss. So it was kind of like core strength as first priority and then weight loss. When I left the hospital, I had dropped about eight kilograms, which I think is about 17 pounds. That was like the baby and fluid. One week postpartum, I was still like, looked like six months pregnant. Um, my belly went down kind of super slow over the first six weeks. Like I said earlier, the first six weeks were very difficult. Like I was, I was struggling to do basic stuff and I needed a lot of help. Once I got past that six week point though, things have kind of snowballed with my progress. Up until this point, I'm now seven months postpartum. I took probably the first month no tracking my diet whatsoever. And then I started to focus on uh, building my protein back up, making sure I was hitting like a minimum number of protein. That was my first nutrition goal. And then as time progressed and I started getting a little bit more sleep around the three month mark, then I started to also dial in my fats and carbs. So I started to get my macros back in check. And I had steady weight loss progress basically the entire time until about five months. I kind of stalled out a little bit around then, but um, I might have stalled out a little bit on the scale, but my progress in my photos and seeing in my videos, my composition has been still changing a whole lot since that five month mark. So at the height of my pregnancy, I weighed just under 85 kilos, which just sounds insane to say. And now at Seven months postpartum, I am sitting at 67 kilos. My pre-pregnancy weight, I would bounce around between like 64 to 66 kilos to stay in the 64 kilogram weight class. So I'm getting close to where I was pre-pregnancy. I'll show you where I'm at today as far as my body composition goes. Again, this is seven months postpartum now and I weigh about 67 kilos. I'm really, really proud of what all I've accomplished so far. I also still feel like, oh, I have so much further to go, but I've tried mentally to appreciate and value every single baby step along the way because it's so easy to get frustrated, especially in a big weight loss journey like this with how far you have to go. Like it was pretty overwhelming at like six weeks seeing like what I referred to it before on Instagram was as like a mountain I had to climb. And it's daunting like seeing what you look like after giving birth and knowing like what you want to get back to like and how much work that's going to take all the time this term bounce back gets thrown around and i know a lot of women hate that term because nothing bounces back you have to like work really hard to get fit again after giving birth and i think there's a lot of like pressure on women to bounce back and that's just not how it works it takes time I'm probably gonna take a full year to get back to where I was before pregnancy. And I think there's this like stigma that you're supposed to bounce back in six weeks even. I see that all the time and that's not how it works. A weight loss journey, like for me as an example, I gained 44 pounds in pregnancy. That doesn't just come off in six weeks. It takes time, dedication to working out, nutrition, sleep, hydration, there's so many factors. And you're also all of a sudden taking care of this tiny human that completely depends on you. It's, it's really difficult. So if there's any women watching this during their postpartum journey, just know that like, it's not, it's not supposed to be easy. So don't feel bad if it's like, feels very hard and you're, you're having a struggle, like just focus on your baby steps and you will chip away at it and get there eventually. Give yourself time and grace to accomplish those goals that you want to. This was a big like mental test for me and it's made me much stronger mentally and that's another reason why I just appreciate this time period. I did shift my training regimen quite a bit during this time. Instead of just doing weightlifting like I did before, I found that doing a combination of weightlifting and some metabolic conditioning similar to what they do in CrossFit and like circuit training 
has been like a big ticket for me to lose body fat. So I'm going to stick with that because it's been really successful for me and I'm able to gain back my muscle with the lifting but lose body fat from the conditioning at the same time. I released a training program that is set up just like that because that's what I've had the most success with. So if you're looking for a training plan, definitely check out my website. So how I'm training now is basically I do barbell lifts and then I do accessory work with bodybuilding and then a conditioning workout. And I'm doing that either four or five times a week. We are off to an awesome start. It is going really well. I am getting rave reviews on this program, which makes me so excited. It's basically the other baby I had this entire postpartum journey because I was working on this, getting the website set up, figuring out what training plan is gonna work the best for the most people and myself included, and uh, making it available to the public for an affordable rate. I'm offering this for only $12 a month. So if you wanna train with me, definitely check that out. There's two options. There is a weightlifting program, dynamic weightlifting, and that is going to be training the snatch and clean and jerk. And then there is dynamic strength, which is gonna focus on the big three movements like powerlifting, squat, bench, deadlift. So the two pathways have different barbell movements, but then the accessory bodybuilding and conditioning workouts are the same. You get both of those plans for $12. So if you wanna train with me, check that out on my website. My goals in this next chunk of time over the next like three months are going to be to add as much muscle back as possible and as much strength back as possible. I really want to qualify to the 2021 weightlifting nationals. I've got to bulk my total up about 20 more kilos to make that. And I also want to keep leaning out. I want to keep focusing on my body composition. I want to be able to rock my bikinis again this summer and feel confident in my body. We're getting there. We're getting there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, getting some more insights into my postpartum journey. Like I said, this has been an amazing experience for me. I don't know yet if I am one and done or if I'm ever going to do this again. I love being Scarlett's mom. I don't know if I want any more or not. I guess time will tell what's in the cards for me. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you soon.